Pokemon Sword and Shield were just recently announced, and while we got a good amount of gameplay footage, we didn't get to see too many new Pokemon that are native to the new Galar region. In fact, we only got to see three Pokemon from this new region, that being the starter Pokemon. However, what if I told you that there's a possibility that we've already seen two more Pokemon from the Galar region, and that we've known about them for quite some time now? Stay tuned to find out why Corphish and Young Goose may actually be Pokemon that are native to the Galar region. What's going on guys? Hybrid Hero here. While we do have a ton of new information to cover and make videos on, I really want to make a fun little video that in some way gets Pokemon Sword and Shield to connect to older Pokemon games. Cause the constant overload of new information can get quite overwhelming to say the least. And I think I found just the way to do so. As many of you may know, while certain Pokemon may be released within a certain generation, that doesn't mean that that specific Pokemon is native to the region of that generation. One of the most popular examples of this is Executor. Many people believe that Alolan Executor is actually Executor's original form within the Pokemon world, even though Cantonian Executor was introduced to the real world long before Alolan Executor was officially released. This is because both Cantonian and Alolan Executor have dex entries that imply that Alolan Executor is actually Executor's original appearance. And an old TCG booster box of the jungle set even shows an elongated Executor similar to Alolan Executor. Now, like Executor, there are a few other Pokemon that are known to be native to other regions that we've located, but Corphish and Young Goose are two Pokemon that have dex entries that imply that they're from other regions, but the fans haven't exactly been able to figure out which region they came from. Corphish is said to be a foreign Pokemon to the Hoenn region that were imported as pets. Its fire red and leaf green dex entries also state that it came from overseas, and since Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, and Sinnoh are all regions based on Japan, and since they seem to be pretty close together within the Pokemon world, we can safely say that Corphish isn't from these four regions. Corphish is based off of Crayfish, and Crayfish are largely found in America, so Unova and Alola are viable candidates to be Corphish's native region. But Pokemon Black and White made it pretty clear that the Pokemon from the original Unova decks are the only Pokemon that are native to the Unova region. And Corphish's Ultra Sun Dex entry states how it's only recently been common and available to catch in Alola. It wasn't even available in the regular Sun and Moon games. As for Kalos, as far as my research goes, France doesn't really have any crayfish native to its country. That and, if Corphish really was native to Kalos, I'm sure its Kalos Dex entry would have made mention of it. So, we're on to the Galar region. And since it's based off the UK, it's very possible that we could see Galar be the home of Corphish, as the UK does have a species of crayfish that's native to the country, the White Clawed Crayfish. I know its claw isn't actually white, but Corphish kinda does look similar to it, and it has a whitish claw. So hey, there's that. Only problem is, Corphish is probably based off of the Red Swamp Crayfish, which makes a bit more sense. The Red Swamp Crayfish is also an invasive species to many countries, including the United Kingdom. And in fact, the invasion of the Red Swamp Crayfish is one of the reasons as to why the White Claw Crayfish is endangered. There have been instances where certain Pokemon take the role of multiple species from the real world. So it is possible that Corphish can take the role of both species of Crayfish and be native to the Galar region. But I think it'd be much more interesting if we received a regional variant of Corphish. Or in other words, a Galarian Corphish. Galarian. Sounds kinda cool, don't you think? And kinda like Barbarian. Anyways, Grimer and Muck and their Alolan counterparts are regional variants of the same Pokemon. However, the Cantonian evolutionary line is going extinct while the Alolan evolutionary line is thriving. So if Game Freak wanted, I can totally see them including the battle between the Red Swamp Crayfish and the White Cloud Crayfish from the UK within the Galar region, in the form of regular Corphish and Galarian Corphish, which would be based off of the White Cloud Crayfish. And who knows, like Executor, the regional variant could in fact be the original Pokemon. And regular Corphish became a thing, as it was imported and adapted to the environment of the other regions. It is said to adapt pretty well to its environment after all. As for Young Goose, admittedly, there's not much evidence pointing towards it being from Galar. Its Pokemon Sundex entry states how it's not from Alola and was imported from a different region. 
since it was introduced seven generations in, it definitely isn't from any of the older regions. So, Galar is simply just our first option in figuring out Young Goose's true home. There are mongooses that are native to southern Europe, and, well, unfortunately, the United Kingdom isn't in southern Europe. However, you gotta keep in mind that it'll almost be impossible for Game Freak to make a region of every country or area from the real world. So Game Freak does make tweaks here and there. Certain species of animals that aren't found in France may be found as Pokemon in Kalos, simply because Game Freak has the freedom to make changes to the world as they please. And since the United Kingdom is in Europe, I can see Young Goose possibly being native to Galar. But if you ask me, it has a much better chance of being native to Southern Kalos. As Southern France is much closer to the remainder of Southern Europe, and if Galar and Kalos really are connected, as most people are speculating them to be, we may in fact be getting a Colonian Young Goose. But chances are that the home of these two Pokemon lie outside of the Galar region, and we may never get to know where they really come from. All we can really do is keep our eyes peeled for any interesting dex entries or information within Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield that tell us where these two really belong in the Pokemon world. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. Do you guys think that Corefish and Youngest will be native to the Galar region? Or do you think that we'll receive any regional variants for them? Or do you think we'll receive regional variants at all? Let me know. Be sure to hear a bunch of like button if you enjoyed the video, and hit that dislike button if you didn't. Let me know how you feel. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions of the video, as well as your current thoughts on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Share the video around if you want to help us with the channel. And finally, subscribe to the little bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all my content. Take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next video, alright? Later!